I think God just gave me a sign. This is probably my fifth time having to re-record this video. A good 30, 40 minutes have passed, just in trials. First two were kind of like bloopers, like, good morning, good morning, good morning, <clears throat> good morning, good morning. Not liking the way everything sounds. Third one was hot. Third one was hot, but I was just like, nah, I re-recorded that. You can come with some more energy, you know what I mean? And then that fourth one, I don't know where the energy went, but full depression cloud nine had hit. And I was just like, y'all, I'm not feeling it. I'm having a bad day, blah, 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 blah. And at the end of the video, I'm just like, hey, some talk to me Tuesday may be like this. Y'all never know what y'all go get, right? And so I just, I ended the video all dry. I was like, all right, I'm gonna see y'all later, deuces. You know, something told me just to check the footage on the camera, which I never do. I never check the footage on the camera. I check it on the computer. And as I'm looking at it, I'm like, why is there no audio? And so I look at the top mount, and I noticed that my external mic batteries died during the video. Something told me, nah, that video wasn't good enough. You need to re-record, talk about something else, because somebody need a better message than the one you tried to give. So I'm back, I'm cool, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna cheer myself up, self-motivation. I'm gonna give the people something. Although my spirit doesn't feel in the right position to give y'all what I wanted to talk to y'all about. It's gonna come from your heart. It's gonna be a freestyle. I hope everybody watches the rest of this video. If you're watching this far, make sure you subscribe, you like, you share, you comment, and let's get into it. So this morning, right, I wake up nice and early, fix myself a little, a little deli sandwich, you know, with some Cheetos, got my coffee, not necessarily a breakfast, but I just needed something. I didn't feel like eating eggs and sausage again, right? So I wake my little brother up. I'm like, yo, brush your teeth, wash your face, get dressed. We're about to go do some errands, you get me? And while we're on the way to this place to get some custom stencils made, I have my mask on. My brother Marquise has his, uh, well, has my bandana on his face. And when we walk out the car, I give him that briefing. Like, yo, we on that side of town, act right. Two black men with bandanas and a mask on. Let's try not to scare these people. So we getting ready to walk to the store. And I see one of the employees trying to race to the door before me and Marquise can get to the door. And so I'm already kind of like, you know, Westbrook like, what? You know, like necessary this early in the morning? Who's robbing? Whatever, right? And we walk in, and she's trying to dart past the lobby area to hit this corner in the back. And as soon as she was about to hit that, yeah, I said, excuse me. She said, huh? I said, yes, I was coming in to see if I can get a quote of some custom stencils. You think you can help me? She's like, oh, 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 um, um, just one moment. Let me get someone for you. Two minutes, right? I'm just in a lobby, like dun 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 dun. The whole Jeopardy thing, right? This older white guy comes in. He's like, "Yeah, uh, how can I help you?" As if the lady didn't already tell him prior that I needed some custom stencils. So I'm like, before I say this, I got my mask on, so it's kind of hard for me to like really talk without yelling. Um, I'm not trying to scare nobody, but I say. Yes, sir. Um, I came in to see if I can get a quote on some custom stencils. To him, it probably sound like, yeah, I was coming in to see if I can get some custom stencils. Probably sound like that. The man said what twice? I repeated, he was like, stencils? I'm like, yes, sir, stencils. He gives me this look like, um, Negro, we don't do stencils here. <laughs> That's the look this man gives me, right? And I'm like, yeah, I spoke to such and such uh, probably a month ago. He told me the machine was down and then y'all relocated. Y'all uh, relocated and he told me just to come back, ask the same questions, and then we can get some work going. He was like, um, let me go in the back real quick. So I'm like, I'm not gonna call it racist vibes, but this is the second person that has given me a stank vibe. The guy that I spoke to comes out. He probably doesn't recognize me because I'm in different clothes. I had my do-rag on last time and I got a mask on this time. But Marquise is sitting in a chair playing on his phone with the uh, bandana across his face. And so as he looks in the room, he like trying to scan the room like, is anything missing? Is, is everything here? 
whatever, all they had was some hand sanitizer. So I restate the same question. As if the second person didn't go back and tell him what I said. Yes, how can I help you? Can I get some custom stencils, man? <laughs> like, I'm kind of like, not necessarily irritated, but I'm just like, what kind of, what, what is going on here? And so he's talking to me and he's like, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. And although me and him spoke already, it just, the vibes just felt off. And I don't want to call him racist because I hate giving that word energy. But I was just like, it's too early in the morning to be treating customers like that as if they don't belong there. A lot of y'all might say, don't give me your money. Unless y'all know somebody else that can make custom stencils and I can get it in a week, hit me up. But that messed up my entire mood. I wanted to say something to Marquise like, hey, that's not how you should be treated when you walk into a store. But it just shook my mood so, so off that I, I, it was a, a quiet, kept the podcast going on. I didn't say two words while I was driving. Then I get home and I'm just like, let's record a video. And it was a very good video too. Like the topic I had, I had my little script out on my phone. I was ready. And I don't know, the vibes just weren't there. If it's anything that I can say though, that's kind of been on my heart and my spirit for at least the past two days is, have you ever felt like you ever did something so wrong or you just did something that you weren't supposed to, or just whatever. And you feel like you gotta do all these good deeds to make up for that one bad thing you did. And I think probably all the month of February, that was me. All the month of February, that was me. And for the past two months, I've been trying to like re reintroduce myself as a, a change individual. For those that know me personally, I kind of want this time period during this quarantine to be a, a a butterfly or a caterpillar in this cocoon. That is what I'm trying to do right now. A lot of people were hurt in the process, having to ask for forgiveness, and it's just been something that's really been heavy on my heart of like making sure that I change who it is that I was. Um, I don't revert back to those ways. Asking God to hit that reset button for me. Just a total transformation. So I'm gonna leave that right there for like anybody that just just needs that that reset button for whatever it is that they just trying to get over the hump of. Um, that's me right now also. I'm also in that getting over the hump process. I just ask to be remolded, refurbished. Yeah, everybody just meditate. Ask to be refurbished, be, be made new, something. Whatever's broke, fix it. Um, whoever you wrongs, write them. Um, but understand that God is the only person that can judge you. Uh, don't look for man's approval for anything. And uh, shoot, keep your keep keep your eye on the prize. Don't be distracted. Put them uh, them horse blinders on and just focus. Just focus, focus, focus. I'm about to end this video because not only did my mic die, but my camera's about to die. I'm prepared today. Very unprepared. But like I told y'all, I had to come out with a video. I made sure I'm coming out with a video. This is just Talk To Me Tuesday. It's not always gonna be motivational. It's not always gonna be blah, blah, blah. It's just that I get to talk to my people every Tuesday, at least one day a week. Make sure y'all check up on y'all people. Um, got some bad news that a sergeant passed away over the weekend. And you never know what people got going on in their lives. But just make sure y'all checking on y'all people. Just, just, just show some love. Make sure everybody's okay. I'm praying for those that are married, going through these times. Those that got sick, rel sick relatives or children. Um, pray for those in college that ain't got no, uh, no stimulus check. You know, check on your friends. Check on your family. Check on your boss. Check on your coworkers. Just check on everybody because you never know who, who's at that breaking. Just pray for them, I'm praying for you. Put some prayer hands in the comments. Other than that, make sure you subscribe, you share, you like, you comment. Shoot, that's it. Your boy Rondo Drain, talk to me Tuesday. Catch me next Tuesday, and bam, that's your video. I'm gonna catch you later. Gotta make sure I don't end this video as dry as the last one. Deuces.